Hello, 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 bonsoir à tous. Uh, so, here I'm just gonna show you a little trick, uh, Nakitsu. So, um, I, I, I know some of you may wait for um, the, the, the space uh, switching function uh, that is coming in the uh, last part of this year. Uh, if everything uh, goes fine again. Um, but um, yeah, t uh, I'm gonna show you a little trick that can work around this and um, allow you to yeah, place some part of your uh, character uh, over literally any other part. So uh, the first thing you have to know is that um, I'm gonna use the, the local mode uh, on my pivots. So no screen space. Uh, when manipulating this and uh, no uh, no world space so stay in local world uh, in local space and it should be fine uh, also it would be uh, limited to um, joints who shares the same um, origin so you can do this with ik reverse foot uh, root joints and uh, if you have joints after the root joint, um, it, it may fail until they are uh, also uh, placed at the same uh, position on the grid. Um, okay, but if you have uh, your pelvis in the origin of the grid, this trick should work. Okay, so now let's jump on the fun things. So what I want to do um, here, for instance, is to um, place the, the hand of Elise um, right there in the hip and um, make this follow the, the, the movement of the, the hip joint. Okay, so obviously it won't work. Um, if I try, you know, to place it manually, maybe I try to use the, the twin machine, which seems to to do a good job, but not not exactly. Um, you can notice you, you have some weird uh, transforms. Okay. And basically, uh, what you would have to do is manually replace uh, each keyframe, and it's just tedious. And we are not here to do tedious stuff. So. Uh, what we're gonna do uh, is create a uh, IK just right at the point we want to snap our hand. So it, it would be exactly like uh, make a space switch. And uh, we will have the, the perfect uh, movement uh, of the hand to the hips uh, without any trembling or uh, that kind of weird stuff. So here, um, I'm gonna display the joint so you can see what happens. So I go back into uh, the rig and skin mode and especially in the bind pose mode. So here, since I want to make the, the, the hand palm uh, follow the hip, I will look for the joint who actually controls the hip. So I, I just click on the model and I see that it's the thigh joint. So from this joint, I want to create an IK, so I can't just do this, select the side plus the, the joint I've made here and, and just hope uh, I could be able to make an IK. It, it doesn't work like that. But if I create one joint first, then a second one, okay, then I can create my IK. And what's cool with this is that uh, the IK joint was uh, created at the same level of hierarchy than the wrist IK. So basically I can copy uh, this uh, position to this one. Okay, so copy and paste. And they are at the exact same position. Okay. Um, by the way, because it's an IK and because it has only one joint, I can't expect to be able to move this uh, where I want 
if I select the IK. But if I select the joint itself, I can move it anywhere I want. Remember that uh, this joint will follow the thigh. So if I move the thigh, if I rotate it, this will follow. Okay, so I just need to place, um, so I can go back in admission. Um, and in the layer, I want to retarget my uh, IK. I only need to activate the little hammer and toggle on my three joints plus my IK. And then uh, I only need to place, so I will just uh, get rid of this for the moment, uh, just place the, the joint here where I want. Okay, so maybe I want to place the, the arm, um, so grab the joint and not the, the IK like I did. Okay, it's the same, but if you select the joint, you, you can really uh, move without any constraints, so it's pretty really cool. And feel free to use the um, uh, screen space move. So you can see it, it's, it's a little dot. Um, if I had my joints, this little dot. Okay, so there I have no constraints. I just move parallel to my screen, and it's just super wonderful to use. So. Um, so I'm gonna move this, maybe there, maybe it's fine, maybe I could place it here if I want. Okay, and then I will uh, copy past this position to the other keyframes because the others uh, have not been updated. So that's it. So this joint will perfectly follow uh, the, the surface and the, the position here, um, it, it won't move just because it belongs to the side which obviously controls the vertices of the of the side. So this position is just perfect. And these interpolations are uh, stored in a IK controller, just like my hand palm. So what I want to do now is select my IK controller here select all the keyframes um, where it's animated, hit Ctrl C, select the other IK, hit Ctrl V. Now if I move, it should be okay. So maybe there is some issues with the additive layers above. Yeah, so uh, right now if you if you didn't notice um, how uh, the update came uh, along, uh, the um, feature that will allow us to do this um, later will be the um, uh, global IK solving. Global IK solving will take uh, in, in account each layers and uh, resolve the IK positions um, using all the layers. So you you may not have such uh, moves. You may. I'm not. I'm not perfectly sure of this, but maybe maybe you won't. So, yeah. For instance, just deactivate any other layer who controls uh, your hand, or maybe make this move only on one layer. Okay, and then use the local uh, mode to change where you want to have your hand. Okay. At some point, uh, I may like to uh, remove this. So select your IK control plus its joint. Not only the joints, it won't work if you want to delete an IK, you, you need to, to select the IK first. And then uh, I'm just gonna hide the joints. So now I'm just about, you know, placing my hand exactly where I need it. So maybe there, maybe a little rotated, like so. And it will follow uh, just because um, I've selected all my keyframes. So I am actually offsetting not only this keyframe, but uh, this one too, this one too, this one too, and in local mode, meaning uh, the same transforms will apply for each keyframes, the same offsets. Um, it's, it's really important to understand that. 
because of course if I do some screen space transforms we'll see that I, I may have some some issues I may or maybe not well <laughs> maybe it's a bootleg uh, okay so maybe 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 just uh, reposition the took the fingers So if the screen space works, maybe I could rotate them like so, maybe, yes, that's fine. really cool to have the screen space now I don't know if it's maybe it's my favorite uh, addition to the lat latest updates like but I don't know we really have a, a lot of super cool stuff in this one so maybe each one is my favorite <laughs> so here yeah, once finished, you can see that you have your um, your hand following perfectly your uh, your hips, just like this. And basically, you can do the same for any part of your body as a uh, target position. Uh, obviously, if you want to make some other parts follow, it's it's kind of difficult. But um, if you want to expand uh, this trick uh, for example if you want to place your five fingers uh, on the chest part of your character while the character is breathing for example you can create uh, five little chains then place eye keys um, on the surface of your character then make eye keys on your fingers okay and place additional joints at the end of your uh, finger and just copy past those fingers to uh, the frame you have on the door so but you know what let's try this let's just try this to find out if it works so uh, i will just duplicate the, the animation so we'll see the the result after so i want to place five fingers on the torso so i'm gonna go in bind pose then I will create five uh, limbs. Okay, so like this, like this. So I'm, I'm creating them uh, perfectly on the main, just in case. Okay. Um, so now um, maybe place them first, like. Something like this, and maybe, maybe try to figure out how it will looks. So maybe I will have, uh, I will have like the thumb here. Maybe one index here, or oh, the middle. Here the index. Um, here the ring, and here the pinky. For instance, okay, um, then I will just create some AK for these uh, limbs. Okay, um, I go I'm gonna change just the size, like mm, the two. Yeah, seems, seems pretty good. Um, and, uh, and, 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 maybe I could change the orient, but, well, let's say like, like this, okay, 
Okay, cool. Now I'm gonna do the same for the fingers, but as I've said before, I need to have some tip joints to have the um, contact uh, IK. Fine. Um, so maybe just move it in better positions. Three. It just it rocks to have this screen space now. It, it's just super super awesome. You know, I, I used to be really fan of Akitsu, but this update is on another level. And a really good one. So now I'm just gonna create limbs IK like this. Super cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so just change the size like I did for the the other fingers, well, the other fingerprints. And now I'm gonna switch to animations and we'll see what can be done with this. So, um, so let's activate all these joints. Fine. Now I'm gonna hide the skeleton. And what I want to do here will be. Um, so first of all, select my keyframes because I, I will need to, to change the position of my arm. So like this, turn a little bit, like the arm like so. Whoa, can up. Okay, okay. Maybe, yeah. So now I will just copy this to this, this one to this one, this one to, well, this one, this one, up. Oops, sorry, this one to this one, and that one, maybe that one could be somewhere like there. So I'm just trying to maybe migrate my finger. Oh, maybe I could do this after. So, um, and this one to this one. Okay, so now, yeah, the hand follows perfectly, but seems I have some um, animations already in these fingers. Yeah, it seems. So probably I could, um, oops, just remove the animation from here. Okay, and then copy paste again. Okay, fine. It's better. So as you can see, you can uh, really, <laughs> it's really strange to do this, but yeah, you can place your fingers on your torso like so and have them following perfectly. And uh, once you're done with this um, animation, nothing re uh, uh, prevents you to do this. So you basically suppress all your joints and IK 
to keep the same hierarchy uh, for your uh, target engine. So Im imagine you are animating Elise for a, a game and you really need to keep the same um, hierarchy, hierarchy, but uh, well, if, if you need to, to do some uh, some plant keys and some, some, some stuff like that, you can use this trick uh, without any trouble. So just because in Akitsu you can create and delete uh, Akit joint uh, everything you want without affect affecting uh, what's cute. Okay, if I have keyframe on this and I don't delete uh, joints who actually control the really my uh, vertices, it's fine, I keep the same animation. Okay. And of course, if I need to keep uh, the possibility to uh, to change uh, the posing and the position of my uh, fingers, I will need to keep my uh, eye key at least for the, the tip. Okay, may maybe I don't need these joints. Oh, surely, sorry, but these are kind of essential if I need to. Keep it out. Yeah. Can, um, oh, super cool, so I can also adjust. So as IK does not lock uh, exactly the angle uh, I'm using, I can really mess up with the with what happens with what's happening. So at some point, it can really really fail at keeping the the, the same um, offset for this one, for example. So maybe uh, I edited it too much. And of course, I can select the. So let's just clean up this. Uh, I can select the wrist uh, L and adjust this part without affecting the this part of my skeleton. So that's it for this trick. Uh, I hope you've learned something and uh, and see you for the next one. Bye.